Hey guys, welcome back to Pantropy. Uh, this is just a quick update video on some things I've seen happening recently. Uh, I know the servers are down at the moment. If you're watching this later, they're probably back up by now, or they may be down for a different update. Uh, as for now, what I have seen happening is um, some servers getting hacked, and the devs wanting to implement um, player profiles so that they can control uh, bans and things like that to get players off the server that are hacking or doing things wrong or whatever. So they're working on that at the moment. And as far as I've read, uh, it, there should be an update out within uh, two, three days at the most of this video release. So if you're watching this a month from now, then that's probably not the case. It's probably already done. Uh, probably bug fixes have already happened by then, but um, if you're watching this before the, for the latest update, the latest update that we're on now I think is, uh, uh, what, 0 0.2.9 I do believe, so um, yeah, we're looking for the next update, and supposedly we'll have uh, some new features on uh, the, the server side, so that, you know, the saver, sa uh, player profiles, being able to save those, that way they can implement bans and um, server listings and all that kind of thing. I think that's going to make a huge difference. It'll keep some of the um, the players that are hacking and, and getting away with some things they probably shouldn't be off the servers. So that's nice. I mean, even in a, you know, in a community test build, um, again, this game is not even in early access. It's not on Steam. It's not, uh, it's, it's pre-alpha testing, community build testing. So, um... I think this is going to do a lot for the game and add a lot to uh, uh, people wanting to play because you know they don't have to they don't get on here and have to worry about um, uh, getting hacked and people hacking their base or you know hacking in turrets or whatever else. Uh, as you can see in my last couple of videos, there were no turrets you know available, so some players had turrets they had to be hacking right. Um, I mean they they were hacking definitely. Uh, but either way, um, just because you're getting beat by somebody doesn't mean they're always hacking in every case. But in this case, yes, definitely for sure confirmed hackers were on the servers. And I don't want that to scare people away from the game because hackers are in every PC game at some point. But they need to be there to break the servers and to break the game in the beginning so that the devs can account for that and, and try to... Um, try to protect the players and protect the game uh, through using the data they get on on how it happened so I think it's a good thing that it happened early and that it's been caught and it's being fixed so it's definitely a good thing that it's been fixed we can all agree on that so uh, look forward to future updates the guys over at Panch Pre are working very very hard very hard on uh, on getting uh, updates pushed out and I think they're doing a fantastic job on the game itself um, some of the features are just amazing. Uh, the base building aspect is really cool. Uh, I look for more, um, more and different, uh, items, uh, in the future to base build with. I don't think it's just going to be your standard square block bases. So, uh, look for lots of things to come. Uh, lots of weapons. We still have mechs to come out. We still have turrets and base defense to come out. And, uh, you know, as far as I know, I think that's, that's all that I have heard so far is the, you know, the mechs are coming, the, the turrets are coming at some point. And, uh, I know there's creatures coming in the game too, so you're not just going to be fighting against each other. There's going to be wildlife in the game you're going to have to protect yourself from. So, uh, lots of big updates coming, guys. Uh, just hold tight. And, uh, if you really enjoy the game, then stick with it, you know, don't, you know, don't burn yourself out on it. If you want to wait till pre-alpha release until they can get it on Steam or somewhere that, you know, th that you can, you know, pay some money for. I don't, I don't want to throw a price out there because I have no idea. But, you know, if you'd rather wait until it's a paid product where they have more control of the game so you don't burn yourself out, I think that's okay too. Um, there have been lots of games where I have bought in early access alpha and I played them for a couple of months and then I've put them down and I haven't picked them back up yet because they're still in alpha. Uh, I'll go back and play them every so often just to see what's changed 
And uh, lots of games have come a long way. They really have. Uh, still nothing that I want to go back and play yet. But again, that's what the, the testing and all that is for, is to build a game that the community wants. Either way, guys, short little video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if there's anything else you want to know about, I'll see if I can answer it. Most of you probably know as much as I do about the game or more. So um, these are, this, is, this video is for the people that don't necessarily keep up with it on Twitter or not on the Discord or you know, in the community or whatever, just people that, that watch and, and want to know about the game. So uh, I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Also check my description for Discord and Twitter and Twitch and all that kind of stuff too. I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.